Hi everyone, my name is Marco Hernandez and welcome to today's lesson on using a dynamic runbook session. In Enterprise Manager, you can create dynamic runbooks to encapsulate your best practice procedures in the form of steps that your IT ops teams can execute to resolve an issue. You can use dynamic runbooks for incidents or metrics. For this demo, a dynamic runbook for the CPU utilization metric has already been published for use. We will go through the process of starting a runbook session against a high CPU utilization. To begin, let's go to the All Metrics page for this hose and locate the CPU utilization metric. Here we can see a chart displaying the CPU utilization and notice there's a spike. Let's resolve it before it crosses its thresholds and becomes an incident. On the right side of the page is the Runbook Session section. Under Start Runbook Session, select the runbook named CPU Utilization Runbook. This will open a new tab as we have started a runbook session. Here we can see a detailed view of the steps needed to run the runbook and triage the issue. Notice the metric details are carried over. Now we can start executing each step in this runbook. Let's look at Step 1, Overview and Prerequisites. This step explains the purpose of this runbook is to triage and address issues related to high CPU utilization. And we can use this runbook for this hose. Since we have verified this is the correct runbook, let's check the box. Now let's go ahead and click the play icon in step 2 to review the CPU trend. A graph appears that displays the trend of CPU utilization over the last 24 hours. Here we notice there's an increase in CPU utilization around 12.05 p.m. We can take note of when this increase occurred by adding a comment. As you are using this runbook, you can add comments to any step to note down any observations. Later, when your team reviews this runbook session, they also have the observations you've jotted down. Now I will demonstrate how to add a comment. On the top right corner of this step is the Add Comment button. Once we click it, a new window will pop up. Underneath EM Admin is a text box where we can add our comment. To the right of EM Admin is a check mark inside a circle. We'll click it to save our comment. Next, let's click the play icon in step 3 to check if memory utilization has been increasing as well. Here we can see that a graph appeared that displays the trend of memory utilization over the last 24 hours. We can see that a spike had occurred around the same time as the spike in CPU utilization happened. In step 4, click the play icon to check the top processes. Here we can see the top processes with the highest CPU running on this hose. In this list, we can identify a Python process that is not necessary for the hose, but is consuming a large amount of CPU. Let's go ahead and copy its process ID, which is underneath the PID column. In step 5, notice we have a gear icon instead of a play icon. On mouse over the gear icon, it's asking us to provide an input to this step. Click the gear icon. A pop-up window will appear asking you to input the process ID. Paste the process ID we copied from step 4 and click the save button. Notice in step 5 that the gear icon has changed into a play icon. Click the play icon and a message will appear stating that the process has been killed successfully. Now let's go ahead and run step 4 again so we can verify that the Python process has been killed. After we click the play icon, we should notice a new list will generate and it shouldn't show the Python process anymore. This should have resolved the high CPU utilization issue. The runbook remains an active session until your mark is done. As an active session, you can go back and run or rerun your steps. This is useful for cases where you may want to leave the session halfway through and return to complete it later. On the bottom right corner of the page, click the Mark is Done button to indicate that you have finished all the steps. Once your mark is done, you can no longer rerun any steps, however, you can continue to view the session in read-only mode. This will allow you to do any post-mortem analysis of the metric and its triage steps. A page with all the runbook sessions that you have ran will appear. Click the arrow under the Actions column for the CPU Utilization session to see the actions you can take after a session is complete. In the Actions menu that pops up, you can open the session to have a read-only view, extend the expiration of the session, or delete the session. Thank you for joining today's lesson on Dynamic Runbooks. For more information on using Dynamic Runbooks, please refer to our Enterprise Manager Monitoring documentation.